This is a song. Yes, this is a freaking song. What is up, my good people? The name is Pixel Love, and we are back again with another episode of Earthbound. In the last episode, not only did I go through the entirety of the deep darkness, but I was also able to make it back here in winters and find out that Apple Kid and Dr. Ananuts are nowhere to be found. Also, how tragic that I had to deal with these guys right away. So, I ended up here, here in the Stonehenge base, because the Apple Kid had created the Eraser Eraser, which was able to help me get all the way over here, down, well, the Stonehenge base. There's a freaking giant eraser here ever since I got Jeff. Jeff was the first one who saw that there was an eraser and well, that shit's gone. If you're wondering where I am right now, again, I'm in the base, but the thing is, is the last episode as well, I ended the episode prematurely because there was something that came to my attention. There's something that my sources told me and I didn't I just didn't have the time. I wanted to take the time to check out the base, see if I got everything and whatnot. And well I did. I will I was able to actually um do what I needed to do. And there's a storm in there. So I suppose I shouldn't dally on with this any longer I should actually tell you what I what I did so not only was it like really late at night but no I also want I wanted to go to sleep as well that's kind of another reason why I ended it but the main reason was because I was told my sources had told me that um, later on in this base there was an item that I could acquire from one of the starmen Starman Super, um, I, I'll show you where it is later on, but basically, basically what I'm trying to say here is, you remember how a few episodes ago, I basically thought I couldn't give any items to Pooh? Editor, please roll the clip. Look at that, if I, if I have this lucky coin equipped, I just immediately lose, like that, 40 defense. As you can see there, my offense drops by 46. So it is pointless for me to buy anything for Pooh. Thank you very much, Mr. Editor. By the way, Mr. Editor's me. Sank. Am I even going the right way? I hope I am. I'm not. Anyways, later on. Oh, god damn it. Later on, I was actually able to find. Uh, I uh, what you gonna call it? I was able to find some armor for Pooh, the form of the Bracer of Kings. Can I get a quick editor check? Show the clip. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh holy shit! Yo, let's go! My, my boy Pooh finally has some equipment that he can use. Let's go, let's go, oh, let's go. Now, after that, I ended up finding out that there are actually like specific exclusive items for Pooh. There are four specific items for him, but much like how there are specific weapons for Paula, Jeff, and Ness, there are specific weapons for Pooh. Or specifically, there's only one weapon for Pooh, but there's also specific armor parts for him. And so, this basically leads into why I was getting here. Like I said before, there is this area in the base where there are these superstar men. And basically, if I fought enough of them, I have a 1 in 128 chances. It's quite low, very low. I have a 1 in 28 chance. One in 128th chance to acquire the said weapon. It's called the Sword of Kings. It's mentioned before, it's Pooh's only weapon. So, you know, considering how underwhelming I mentioned Pooh is, 
it would be in my best interest to get said weapon. Also, I am getting just getting a lot of crap from these guys. I do not want to use super bombs. Anyways. I did get the weapon. <laughs> I actually did end up getting the Sword of King's weapon. And um Yeah, it it gives you quite the offense. It gives you uh, 30 offense, which you know I'm not complaining about. He's dealing almost as much da damage as Jeff. Definitely doing a lot more damage as Paula, and both of them are actually um, coming up towards how much damage Ness deals, which is a lot. To be completely honest, I didn't realize I have. I I didn't realize I had two super bombs. I should really get rid of them. But in addition to collecting the Sword of Kings for Pooh, I was also able to collect a shit ton of XP. I don't know why that took me a while to say it, but yeah, I was able to get a good amount of XP, and now my I feel like my entire party is pretty stacked because Ness is already in high 70s and Jeff uh, wait, no. Ness is already in his 70s he's already in his he's already in his level 70s Paula and Jeff are about to reach level 70 as well I believe they're in their high 60s if I recall correctly and I'm hopefully I'm going the right way okay, Paula's already level 70 Jeff is about to reach the funny number. He's about to reach the 6-9. And they're, like I said before, they're about to reach level 70. And Pooh just recently hit 60. So, my team is pretty stacked. Also, this was the area that I was talking about. This is the area where I can find all the superstar men. My frames. Also, another thing that I probably should have realized is... Whether or not this runs at 60 frames, because I haven't edited the episode yet, I'll, but I was working on editing it for just a bit, and not gonna lie, like, this inside area kind of looks bad, so I'm really worried about that. So I'm worried, so I'm kind of worried about that as well. Uh, that is quite the, uh, quite the amount of enemies there. Honestly, it might be my. Would it be my? No, no, no. <laughs> Actually, no. I can't. I can't. There's is no. In, there is no way that I'm gonna defend using PSI. There's no way I'm gonna defend using PSI rocking on all of these enemies. Oh come on! And he's guarding as well. No way I'm gonna defend using PSI. Uh, uh, rocking on these guys when these guys have consistently always been screwing me over these guys have always been screwing me over with um with how effective psi rocking actually is so it is in my best interest not to use much psi and to be fair the only reason why i'm really like the only reason why i'm really taking this much damage is because these guys Especially these atomic power robots, they just get free hits for no fucking reason. Like, if I just take them out, like, almost immediately, which I am able to do so, but these guys are not really much of an issue to me. It's just that they get free hits like this. An exploding enemy that gets free damage. Who thought that was a good idea? Genuinely speaking, who thought that was a good idea? Also, two. 20,000 XP! That is an insane amount of XP. And that also reminds me the broken harmonica. The thing that I collected from the top part. Yeah, the top part of this base. Uh, I actually went back to. Actually, I, I don't. I don't think I could have even fixed it in Dr. Andonut's lab. I had to go elsewhere to fix it, and then I had to go back all the way down here to Winters. But yes, I was able to fix the broken harmonica. I was able to get something called... I don't remember exactly what it was called. It's not the death ray. The death ray was the one that I got in Tendana Village. 
Nathan. I probably butchered that name, but I just didn't, do not remember what it was called. Also, Paula, please do not die right away. Thank you very much. Yes, my point is, is that... Ooh, baby! Poo leveled up. No, not that. My point is, is that... Jeff got a new weapon. Let me check it out what it was. The bad beam. There we go. Now, he now has the bad beam. And also, because of how much we've been leveling up, some of us did end up getting a... Some of us did end up getting a few new PSI abilities. I don't recall if I've ever shown PSI Flash Omega. Here, I'll show it again if I need to. Generates glorious rate that have a high probability of destroying all the enemies on the sing in a single strike. So, unironically, PSI Flash might be better than PSI Rockin'. <laughs> Unironic, or at least PSI Flash Omega might be better than PSI Rockin'. Delta? I believe that's what they said. Was it Delta? I, I think they said this was the lower case of Delta. I don't know. It definitely wasn't Gamma. 100% uh, say that it wasn't Gamma. Uh, what else over here? Paula has PSI Fire. Omega. Which, to be honest with you, kind of... It's kind of in the same situation as PSI Rockin. In which it's not as good as... It's not as good as the, its previous iteration. Because look at this. 20 PSI points for 240 over using 42 PSI for 320? That doesn't sound fair. It didn't It didn't even sound that fair from PSI Fire Beta to PSI Fire Delta. But at least that's more understandable than from Delta to Omega. Omega is kind of just mid. And what else do we have here? Horse Pooh has his PSI Star Storm. I believe I've already shown PSI Thunder Omega, which by the way, I've used it only once. I've used it only once, and would you know, it's still garbage. Because who in their right mind thought that it was a great idea to just, you know, it, no one, no one thought it was a great idea to basically say, you know what, everyone here is going to have a random chance to just miss. And I used the wrong PSI. Supposed to use life up. I don't know why, I always get confused between healing and life up. But to be fair, why do they have to have such similar names? Like honestly. At the very least, I still have uh, the balls of DX waters. I guess technically, yeah, there we go. I still have the balls of DX waters I could give to Pooh. Technically, I still have all this PSI caramel, which I don't know how it all ended up in my inventory. I guess I've just been fighting these guys for way too long. Ooh, do I get to come along too? Please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse. This is, this is one of the exit mice. Uh, yes, unfortunately, I cannot take one of your egg. I cannot take one of these guys because I accidentally left one. Well, not so. I didn't accidentally leave one. It's just that I didn't want to take it. I just left it in Escargot Express. And oh my god, you're kidding me here. You're actually kidding me here. Well. I see the doors over there. I guess I gotta go top right. Broken trumpet. That sounds right up Jeff's alley. My gut was always saying that right is right, and also that's a lot of enemies I do not want to deal with. Uh, I guess I'll take these guys out if I have to. And would you look at that, Starman Super? These are the golden guys that are giving me the swords. Sword of Kings. Actually, is it the kings? Which one is it actually? I now that I said both of them out loud, they both kind of sound like they could be it. And of course we got Wait, what? What are you stealing my shit? Hell no! Who said that you could steal my water? It's my fucking water, asshole! You're kidding me here! 
That was a $200 water bottle right there. God damn, I sound bougie as hell. Did he really take it? Oh my, he did. What a prick. What an actual prick. What'd the water bottle do to you? What do we got here? Speed capsule. Uh, should I give it a J? Should I give it an S? I think it's in my best interest to give it a Jeff, just because I actually want, I actually want Jeff to keep the knight pendant, because he's the, because that way he won't be, he'll he'll be resistant to PSI flash, and uh, he technically doesn't even have anything to counter it, unlike Pooh and Ness who have healing. Oh well, she could just use PSI, and also would you look at that? And the door was right there; it wasn't that far away. So what is this? Pixie's bracelet. Be equipped on your arm. It increases your defense. Two from keep hypnotized and also increases your luck. Interesting. I'll put it on Paula. I'll put it on Paula just because she has the lowest defense. I think it's technically Pooh has the lowest defense now, but I can't really do anything about that. Pooh's just gonna have to sauce up. Yeah. I don't want Paula just to. You know, eat shit. Also, what the hell? All of these guys are kidnapped. Jeff, where is Jeff? Is that a... Uh, Tony? Is that Tony? Hey, I, is that Dr. Ananuts up there? Is that the Apple Kid? Next room. And we have a fucking hippie. Uh, there's probably gonna be a big old battle on the next door right ahead, so... It would be in my best interest. To... To... Life up. That's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna give, it some, give life up to Pooh. And what the fuck does... Oh, Life Up Omega does to all of us. I actually didn't know that. I should really, I should really look into this more often. Restores 400 HP to everyone. That actually doesn't sound that bad. That actually sounds kind of useful. And for 24 PSI? Anyways, it's time for Pooh to drink the bottle of DX water. And now... Next room, they said, we got us a star man. You're much stronger than our intelligence indicated. We were not beep prepared for that eventuality. The prophecy from the apple of enlightenment may be true, but you must not brr, underestimate us. I would have imagined that you could have at least given him, like, at least made him more coherent. He's supposed to be, like, the guy, is he not? Alright, uh. Just boil him alive, I guess. <laughs> There's no better way for me to put it, put it other than that. Uh, yeah, offense up. Uh, we got a good old Jeff to spy on him. Let's see here, we got, uh. We got this shield over here. We're, we're just gonna we're gonna throw everything at him. Fuck! You're kidding me. Ness became numb. You're joking me. I hope that the shield killer doesn't. Wait a minute. Fuck! I forgot the shield. The shield killer! It's gonna hit everyone, isn't it? Oh my god. Uh, I'd rather you not. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, shield killer? Oh, please don't die right now! Please don't die right now! Oh, she died. 
And if that's the case as well, shouldn't I die from this as well? Yeah, I die as well. This is, um... I think I might have made... I might have made an oopsie here. What's up, my good people? Future Pixel Love and Editing here. I was looking back at the recording and I was like, I literally just saw this guy reflect my PSI flash back at me. And I thought that the best course of action would be to use more PSI against him? What? Anyways, I feel like I deserve this L, so enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, not gonna lie, that battle was a lost cause. That, that battle was genuinely a lost cause. So, what can we do here? What can we do here? The rock in peace, like flesh, healing, shield, hypnosis, paralysis. Uh, I don't think. Use monkey's love. <laughs> I can use that. Uh, let's see here, let's see here. Obviously, you gotta have the offense up. I have to shield kill this guy. Does he. It didn't say anything about. Wow, what should calls it? I didn't say he was weak against anything. So it's not my best interest to shield again. <laughs> no way that actually worked. No fucking way that actually worked. Oh my god, I genuinely can't believe that actually worked. In that case, I should be able to... Oh fuck, he's able to move again. Well, at least he wasn't able to do anything. Uh, defense down on him for me, please, thank you very much. And, uh, you know, you know what? Look, actually, do I want to go with the... Do I want to go with the slime generator, or do I want to go with the multi-bottle rock? What am I saying? I always want to go with the multi-bottle rocket. It's a multi-bottle! Multi-bottle! Uh, yeah, PSI freeze, gamma's fine. It's about the same amount of damage with less HP, like with less PSI power used. Did not work on Starman Deluxe? Great to hear. Alright, come on, Jeff. Multi bottle time! Multi bottle! <laughs> He died from that one multi. I mean, I guess he died because of the PSI gamma as well, but that multi bottle just took him out. He actually stood no chance. Oh shit, what's happening now? When you defeated the Starman DX, the Stonehenge base ceased functioning. Is that it? Hey, we got Mr. Saturn back. Oh, she got a ribbon. Uh, no, not that one. Is the other. God damn it, that's Ness. That's Ness. Saturn rib. Oh, all is saucing up with all this defense. I was scared, but I knew I'd be safe. I knew I'd be saved if I courageously just sat here and waited long enough. That's what I thought, but I began to lose hope. I'm so glad you saved me after all. You got my boy Apple Kid. I expected there to be about a 7% chance that you would rescue me. I just thought it was a good opportunity to meet Mr. Saturn. I also got to meet Dr. Ananuts. See you. What? Looking for the book of overcoming shyness? Oh yeah, that book. <laughs> I kind of need it. I returned it to the Onet library. He's used a book to help the Shy Tender tribe. Anyway, because I knew because I knew you, I had an incredible experience. Wow! I was kidnapped by some of Gygus's toadies. Oh come on. I am not gonna the rest of that. Hey Doc, are you fine? Since our imprisonment is now over, I want to start on the phase disorder as soon as possible. Oh, I almost forgot to thank you. Of course. You're so, you're, of course, you talk about your work and then you thank me. Don't worry about us, you've got important things to do. Jeff! Jeff, buddy! Oh, me, oh my. You came to rescue me, pal. Oh, Ness? I'm Tony. 
I'm just best friend. I've known him for the longest time. Somehow you've known him longer than his dad has. I was kidnapped while milking a cow on the farm. I didn't think they'd get a ransom by kidnapping little old me. It's the happiest moment of my life. No matter where, no matter what happens, I will live, live, live ten thousand years. Thanks for all that you have done. Maybe we should have left them. Maybe we should have left them. Well, if the base ceased functioning, doesn't that mean that everyone that's in it should stop appearing? Because that's what it looks like to me right now. Nobody's showing up the fuck up. Everything's quiet and shit. The worst part about it is that I can't even teleport back. Fuck. Well, if anything interesting happens, I'll tell y'all, but... I'm just gonna head to the Unnet Library from here. See you in a bit. You know, I don't understand how all four of us can fit in that bed. Regardless, <laughs> I'm back here in um, my house, Ness's house, I guess. Just wanted to get a fresh night's sleep and just store some items and whatnot. But I'm back here in on it, and there's also something that I should probably mention as well that just crossed my mind. Recently, uh, my boy FC, uh, who goes on my podcast and whatnot, but he's he's basically the other main host other than me. Um, he actually fixed my Joy-Cons, uh, the left Joy-Con, so I'm no longer drifting my Joy-Cons these days. And, uh, sorry, eh, come back in the year 2001. Eee. I'm already here in 2001. I guess 2022. Oh, hi, Ness. It's another nice day, huh? What? You like the book of Overcoming Shyness? I read it. It's a great book. So you want to overcome shyness also. You will find it in the bookcase. Yeah, uh, my boy FC, uh, he fixed my Joy-Cons, so shout out to him. Thanks, bro. <laughs> I was really getting worried because I genuinely did not want to buy another fucking pair of Joy-Cons because both of us know that those shits aren't expensive. Some people never change, do they? Hmm? So what bookcase was he talking about? <laughs> I'll be honest and say that I have no reason. I don't know why I went up to the first floor. So what the fuck? I pressed. I pressed right. I'm pressing right. I'm not pressing left. It was weird. They can't be Joy Country. <laughs> I just praised my. I just praised my guy for helping me with Joy Country. Then he was telling me something about. Think about... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Good dog! Fuck off! I don't think this is the right bookcase either, you know? He could be more specific with telling me what bookcase it was. Anyways. I haven't seen any Joy-Con drip now. Hey, would you look at that? There's, there's the book. I haven't seen any Joy-Con drip now, and it's been about... 2-3 days? The thing is, is you guys have seen you guys have seen it firsthand. Like I, this thing drifts like every five ten minutes or so, and like I'm not even, I wasn't even pressing the fucking analog, and it, it, it would drift. The jokes on them, jokes on Nintendo. This thing ain't drifting anymore. And using the analog once more. So again, shout out to my boy FC. Like his channel. You know, go watch him out and whatnot. Good time. He makes good content as well. Well, we both make good content, especially on the podcast. Watch that as well. Watch that as well. Doesn't this house look good? You can only you can buy it for only seven thousand five hundred. Ocean view and the sunsets are beautiful. Ah, yes, the uh, fabled guy who sells the house on on it. Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> this is horrible! Are you kidding me? I spent seven, seven K on this? You found an old magazine. My Secret Life Chapter 3. Story from the previous chapter. 
As neither a murder suspect nor target for an international spy organization, I drove a car down the Jersey Turnpike at 80 miles per hour. Police officer pulled me over and asked for my driver's license. That I was going 20 miles per hour over the speed limit. I instantly pointed to my wife and said, "I'm in a hurry. My wife is in labor." Fortunately, my wife had a big stomach. I hope you let me go with this excuse. Oh, since it's an emergency, I'll lead you to the hospital with my police car, he said. No, it's not necessary. Why not? asked the officer. Oh, well, let's get going, said the officer. No, no, we can't. This baby is a demon shot. Oh, man. Alright, it's gonna be the same thing. I thought it was gonna be more. I genuinely cannot believe this guy on me. You actually conned me. Hey, asshole. A house in such good condition can't be that cheap. Fuck off. It's awful, bro. Ugh. This is why... This is why you just can't trust people. I literally just threw 7k down the toilet. But at least... At least I can say that I had 7k to burn. At the very least. Now, to go back to Tenda Village. That's not where I wanted to start, goddammit. Alright, look this way, Ness. Now, we can go to Tenda Village. Oh my god, I actually thought that truck was gonna stop me, not gonna lie. Shy. Well, who am I supposed to give this shyness book to? This book should be required reading for any quiet shy person. I feel like I should give it to the chief. That was the one who. The fuck is that? We're all shy. Rumor I heard a book of shyness to fix. I can't fucking read. Rumor I heard a book to fix shyness there is. Where? Don't know. Just a rumor. Okay, I guess I can read. It's just that I'm not confident in my reading skills. Book can fix shyness. Thanks. Relax. I'll read to everyone. Oh, just holding this book in my hands makes me feel like I'm overcoming my shyness already. I really take time to read it to everyone. Leader of the Tender Tribe read Overcoming Shyness to Everyone. Gotcha, whisper, whisper. I'd like to give you some tendo, tender kraut in return. Tender kraut is a type of dish that all tender like. It stinks, but it tastes wonderful. Eslens, the leader of the tender tribe, book, the book of overcoming shyness. Please do not give me a big giant uh, late fine, Mr. Onnet Library, sir. I didn't even move for one inch! Hey you, I have a happy little question for you. Yeah, what about me? Are you sure this is the correct player's name? If it's not right, you can change it. Uh, it is... Technically, I prefer it there to be the space in the middle, but... It's the right one. Are you sure it's what you want? Are you happy with the name? I, do, I am damn happy. Are you absolute? I am certain! Yeah, I thought that you had made up your mind. Once we overcame our shyness, I'll give you a bag of dragon eye. Cool, <laughs> I guess. Wasn't really that useful to me. I'll take it. Now, where's the shop here? What is this guy? I like the horn of life. Give me the horn of life. I give you something. Look at list. Okay. Why do you give me horn of life? I don't have a horn of life. It's the problem. Where do I even look for the Horn of Life? What the fuck? I have to look up that bit. Ah oh, shit, I forgot. I actually forgot. I forgot to give this broken trumpet to Jeff. I meant to fix it in the Onnet. I can Onnet, but considering these guys offer me a free stay, I might as well stay here. Well, that didn't work. I'll just try for as long as I have to. 
Yes. Jeff, please fix it. Very much. The defense shower? What the fuck is that? Is it the stupid defense can that ever that Pooh has that I just never use? Defense shower increases the defense of all the friends. It is most effective if you lose this power multiple times to layer to your effect. Can be used many times. Did I read that right? Increases the defense of all friends. Can be used many times. Why do I have these defense sprays then? I could just give this defense shower to who? Pooh, I guess. Actually, do I want to give it to Pooh? I feel like it'd be better for Ness. Doesn't matter. All I know is that I could get rid of that stupid. Stupid, whatchamacallit. it? Fuck. I actually did forget what it was called. Alright, I'm back, baby. And it took me quite a while to figure out what the hell I was doing. Alright, so first things first, I ended up finding out that in order to get the Horns of Life, I needed to get it from Saturn Valley. And I, waste, I wasted quite a lot of money on it. Mind you, I had like... I actually don't remember how much money I had. Editor put it up on screen. All I just remember is when I got to Saturn Valley, I had like 15k. That went down all the way to like 3k and then I had and then I like took 6k out of the bank again and I wasted 3k of those on other goods such as as you can see there are all the horns of life that I ended up buying. Uh, I bought another multi ball rocket and I bought a few more balls of DX water for poo. If you can also notice I changed around some of my items. So for Ness I ended up giving the defense shower, snake back and monkey's love because if what happened down in whatchamacallit calls it, if what ended, if the Stonehenge base boss, whatever the Starman Deluxe, that think that what was his name, if what ended up happening with him can happen again, then Ness kind of needs to do something, or else I'm just gonna be wasting a turn with him, because the defense shower can be used multiple times, the snake bag can be used multiple times. And from what it looks like over here, the monkey's love can be used multiple times and whatnot. I think it makes most sense just to give it an S. I ended up just giving one item to Paula. I guess two. The town map and the tender crowd. Um, town map, you know, it's useful to have the map around. Uh, just useful to have the map. I don't know why I'm stuttering about it. And then the tender crowd is just a key item. Now Paula's going to go anywhere. Then again, she could get kidnapped like she did in Foresight, but who knows. And for Pooh, I just gave him the Brain Stone, Brain Food Lunch, and then the Bottles of DX Waters. Pooh, although he has low IQ, he can concentrate, and well, I don't want him to lose a lot of his PSI or whatnot. I have you, my good friend. Seven, Horn of Lives. A plain roll. What does a plain roll do? I don't have a lot to say about it. I guess there are some people who think it's good. 80 HP. Cool. I love it when I buy a Horn of Life for about 1760 I believe that's how much it costed. All for just a plain fucking roll. Give me a moment while I'll give this guy more Horn of Lives. Alright, so this is what I ended up getting. Two plain rolls, a plain fucking yogurt, gives me 160 HP. Sounds like ass, sounds like ass. Spicy jerky, bag of dragonite, a talisman coin, and the hall of fame bat. Oh boy. And I just moved all my crap as well, fuck. I'm gonna have to move all this crap again! Come on, dude! Alright, I'm back again, and after an excruciating long time going through inventories and whatnot i finally have what i need i have the hall of fame bat for ness i'm gonna keep the bag and dragonite for him whatever i could just burn it through it's not that very useful in my opinion but you never know uh let's see here paul has a pixie bracelet saturn ribbon you have seen previously i ended up giving the talesman coin to jeff it gave him the most defense so he's stacked We've already discussed with Pooh and whatnot, so only thing that comes to my mind now <laughs> He lost his identity. Rip. 
The only thing that comes to my mind now is for this guy to move the goddamn rock now that he's finally no longer shy. Powerful. I show everyone. Ooh, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Holy shit. He did get it. Interesting looking rock there. Good evening. I'm a talking rock. But the rocks around here don't talk too much. That rock that talks the most is deep down in the labyrinth of ways ahead, in the lost underworld. Don't forget to talk to the rock, it's important. I don't know why, but he looks like that, uh... Looks like that... Maui? Maui? M... M... M-O-A-I? Is that how you... Moai. Moai, there you go. Thank you very much, Wikipedia. It looks like the Moai <laughs> emoji. Honestly, so you were saying that there's something down here? Uh, this looks like dangerous territory, which I am not comfortable with dealing with today. Uh, instead, I'll leave it off for next episode. So, guys, like the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Please help me out because my frames are dropping. If you leave a like, my frames will maybe go up, but in the meantime, my name is Pixel Love. Like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and whatnot, and I will see you guys next episode. Take care, everybody.